All right guys, we're gonna show you this cool recipe that we found for the Instant Pot. A lot of people were interested in this thing. Apparently this meal can be done in like 10 minutes or something. It's 6.13, the first step saute the chicken for a little bit. So you see here, it's set on saute and it's on hot. Got some oil in there already. Chicken, that's going inside of there. So the first step is to saute the chicken. Two to three minutes. Time. Whoop. 6.13. Oop, 6.14. Let's see how long this takes. That's in there. Doing that stuff. I found it on Pinterest. It's called the Instant Pot Cracked Chicken. Funny name. But again, it's chicken and then penne pasta, cheese, dry ranch dressing, chicken broth, cream cheese, and bacon. So we're gonna see how fast we can really do this. This looks like we've been sauteing it for about, a, let's give it another minute, and then we'll pour in the rest of the ingredients that it asks for. So after you do that, you'll mix the dry seasoning, dry ranch seasoning mix in with it for a little bit. Get that going. Now the next part is you'll put in chicken stock. So how much of that goes in there? It says three cups. Three cups of that. Can you get me two cups of water? Yep, two cups of water going in there. All this liquid is because we're putting dry pasta in there. I probably should have put this in first because it's gonna plop down. Okay. Bada boom. And then the pasta. Stir that up a little bit. It looks really weird right now. But stir it up as much as possible. 618 on the time. So this part is what takes the longest. Did we not I... put the cheese in yet? No. Oh, okay. So this part is what takes the longest because you have to set the pressure. Under pressure. And then cool. close the lid and select manual. Close the valve because then now the pressure will start. This is the valve right here. So to the side is open and in the center it kind of drops down a bit. That's closed. And it's got a little thing where it tells you, you know, what's open and what's closed. We have to wait for it to build pressure. So this part adds time to it, even though this is telling uh, us it only takes a certain amount of time to cook. This part is what takes the longest. So right now it's 620. So we will come back to y'all when it's done and ready to actually do the cooking part. Cool. It's now 623. The thing says off because it is up to pressure, right? Yep. So now what we got to do is you hit the manual button and, and then, then we the change the... Is, all right, so we did that manual in four minutes. Whoops. What did oh, you no. do? Cancel. There okay. we go. All right, manual, change it to four minutes. All right, all right and then and it'll just, take a second. It'll... It'll beep. Oh, why did you do that? I don't know. Don't touch anything Okay, else. I'm not touch anything else. And then it will do its thing here in a second. Next. All right. Now. So now it's gonna do its thing for four minutes. Actually, now is when it starts to build pressure. I don't, and then when I the, don't know what the rest of that meant then. And now whenever the pressure builds, that thing will actually kind of pop up a little bit when the pressure is where it needs to be, and then it'll start counting down. So, so right should now, we have just unplugged it and turn it back on? Maybe. But for now, it's 625. Those of you who use Instant Pots, let us know, are we like messing up one of the steps? I mean, we've cooked with it already and so the food still came out fine, but maybe we should unplug it after we saute? I'm not sure. If you have any advice for us, let us know. One minute to go. So once this thing reached up to pressure, it then, oh, and there we go. That's the, end. That's the end. It finished. So now we do the quick, quick release. release. Yep. Okay, so then we do the quick release of the pressure, which is just turning just to the side. And you can see the steam blasting into the air. Ooh, whoa, it's doing stuff. I don't know if that's uh, supposed to do that. <laughs> Uh, I think that's the... <laughs> uh... <laughs>
<laughs> it's getting everywhere. Oh, not cool. But we're kind of stuck with... Yeah, deal with it we're dealing with it now. <laughs> um, I have a feeling that was with to do with the um, pasta. Uh, yeah. I think, I, I don't know why, but I, I think the pasta did that. You know how pasta sometimes, if you're boiling it on the on the top of the stove it, and you walk away for one second, it like boils over with all the foam and starch. stuff, the starch or whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. Oops. And that's, uh, that's why we got this mess to clean up now. But hey, you know what? Living you, hey, it smells good. Yeah, I can smell it. It smells really good though. And we still get to put cheese and lovely bacon on this. This is such a mess. I can't believe it did this. Awesome. All right, the, the steam has finished releasing, so now oh we're gonna gosh, take this thing off. And look inside. Ooh, whoa. Nope. Right, There's a lot of liquid left in here. Yeah. There's the, all the cheese. All of that cheese. Whoop, all that cheese in there. Oh my gosh, it's like in this too. Oh wow, it's all. Yeah, we got some serious cleaning to do. All right, we're gonna put the bacon in here. Ooh, bacon's gonna go in. Go ahead. I was getting shot. The picture, I mean, I guess it never looks like the picture on the <laughs> recipe, but it doesn't look quite as liquidy. Well, maybe it'll like uh, thicken, up, thicken yeah. up in a couple of minutes or something. Oh, what a mess. All Everywhere. over here. Oh man, on JR's paper that he has to take back to school. Yeah, look at all that juice in there. That's all juice inside. That should not be that color inside that little channel right there. Yeah, it should just all be the black. Yeah, that's uh, that's juice in there. Yeah, it's, it made a mess. Oh, so it's got to set for like five minutes, yeah. and then it should thicken up. Yep. But okay, anyways, we're gonna clean up while this does that. Yep, we're gonna do some cleaning. Okay, so it is six forty-four. Took us thirty minutes. In between, if you add in the times, like for it to preheat or however you want to call it, or get up to pressure and everything, but still, this in 30 minutes is still not bad. It's pretty good. It smells. It smells. I good. gotta say, it smells really good. Luckily for us, it's it's uh, it's not up here. Yeah. Ooh. So that's good, but it's everywhere else. All right. We're gonna eat it here in a second. All right, guys, we have cleaned up our mess. Almost, we're trying to drain the. Out, outer rim of the instant pot. I'm gonna just add a little bit of bacon to the top here. And then mm. we're gonna let our resident picky food eater here test this out and let us know because if he likes it, then it's good. Hot. What do you think? Thumbs up. Yeah. All right, guys. That's good. We're gonna eat it now. Well, there we go. Yeah. Instant pot, crack chicken, something or other. Pretty sure that we did uh, some things. I wouldn't say wrong, but Not maybe wrong. there's a better way to do it. So if you guys have any advice or anything you can let us know, seasoned instant pot users, let us know. Leave us a comment and tell us, you know, if we could have done anything different. But anyways, we're going to eat dinner, enjoy the rest of the night, and then... Try to clean up the rest of this mess. Yeah. Thanks for uh, coming along with us. And we'll see you in the next one. But for now, as far as we're concerned. That's pretty cool.